Here is Mr. Leo riding double. We are doing a new video of him because Leo is not even close to the same horse that he was when he came here. He has actually taught my nephew Tristan how to ride. Tristan had ridden two horses. Now you can hear all the horses nickering. So, of course, they all think they got to talk to one another. He is a running walk machine, and as you can see, even has some action in his feet. This is a guy that may have had a past in the show rink years ago, it's hard to say, but for the last five years, I know he is not because I know where he came from here in Callaway County. And it was a 66 year old woman that rode him. And then he came here and like I said, he, he taught my nephew how to ride. Uh, he spent, well, we rode him three times in one day. This guy's just as good as gold and he just gets better and better. All righty gonna do a little bit more video with him and let you guys see some more stuff that he does here is mr. Leo at the mounting block and if you remember last time he liked to do his little baby paw he didn't stand real good for it let's do that one more time Steph mm -hmm. now the pawing is gone mm -hmm. but every once in a while he still likes to take a step or two Sometimes you have to be just a little bit patient with him. And there he goes. Good boy. All right, Mr. Leo, we're gonna take you out to the obstacle course, let you walk off towards that way. Oh, I'm telling y'all, if you ever saw the movie Black Beauty, he looks just like him. He has got the tiniest head and he is so fancy going. He's eight years old, he stands 14-3 gilding. He's not registered, but I truly believe he was at one time, and I could almost guess what he's got in him. Man, he's a nice horse. All right, here is Mr. Leo going through the obstacle course. Like I said, this guy's just gotten better and better. I would say I can't believe we still have him, but I do because we didn't redo the video because Tristan was doing so good riding him and enjoying riding him so much that I honestly was just in no hurry to sell him. This is one that if I didn't already have my Monet because I'm a black horse girl, um, black and gray have always been my colors. He probably would have been mine because he is a running walk machine and smooth as glass. All right, that's him going through the obstacle course. We are going to take him. She's going to back him up a little bit for you. And we're going to take him down to the creek. All right, he's not a four-beat gator. He is a running walk machine. But we'll get you a little clip on the pavement just so you can see how pretty he is when he goes. And hear that nice sound of the running walk. All right, now we will go down to the creek. Here's a little bonus video for you. Mr. Leo with the side by side chasing him. He doesn't get very upset about much. Tristan may cry a little when he leaves. Man, he's a good boy. Okay, so I told you there's bush hogging going on right by us as we're doing videoing. He's down here in a lower field now. And here comes Mr. Leo. He says, I don't really care about the tractor. Whatever. I think Willie got a snake a while ago. He definitely got something in this grass. You definitely see that black horse going through the grass or through the woods. Like I said, Leo has only been trail ridden for the last five and a half years, I know. And um, he has been to Southern Illinois. He's been to Wrangler's Camp. He has been to Eminence in Missouri. He has been on tie line, um, turned out in pasture with other horses. He prefers to be with other horses when he's turned out, or at least one other. Doesn't have to be a herd, but he likes to have a friend out in the pasture. Alone, he will kind of pace a little bit looking for one. And 
that little head is just perfect. I'll show you right here. See that hole in the grass? That's where Willie had something a while ago, where he was digging for something. And there's Mr. Leo looking at the tractor. All right, we got Mr. Leo with the tractor and our... <laughs> Here's Mr. Leo giving some feet. There's one. And two. There's three. And four. And guys, he has really, really, really good feet. I'll just get a little close-up of that for y'all. And if you're somebody that lives in the, the hot areas with the sand, the darker feet, of course they don't. I don't know. What is it they say? They burn or something? We don't have those problems here, but the white feet's obviously an issue in some of the hot parts of the year of the world. And he's got the dark feet. So there's Mr. Leo. We may take him up, take him in and out of the trailer and let you see him do that. A little more bonus footage of Leo. Tractor, right there. And the dog's running beside of him. This guy's just got enough energy to make you fun, but anybody can ride him. He's, I mean, like I said, my nephew pretty much learned to ride on him. He'd only ridden two horses before. Yeah, he rode uh, Dolly, and what was the other one that he rode? one other one and then he rode Leo. This is the one he has definitely spent the most time on. Oh, it was the scout. Scout. All right, here is Mr. Leo loading and backing out of the trailer. Not much this guy won't do. <laughs> and one-handed. Awesome. And that is Mr. Leo. His price is 4000 He is eight years old. He'll be nine at some point this year. He's current on his Coggins, up to date on all of his shots. And he is ready to make somebody the perfect trail horse and teach you how to ride or just be your confidence builder and your partner for life.